Hi, I'm David McMillan, author and chef at Joe Beef in Montreal. If you know me, you know how much I love farm-to-table cooking. For me, there's nothing better than surprising friends with an unforgettable meal. But over the years, I've learned all this great food has a cost. And I don't mean money here. I mean a cost for the planet. I'm talking about the environmental impact of agriculture. Now, I don't want my work to contribute to climate change. And you know what? Agriculture doesn't need to be this way. In fact, with the right changes, it can become an important solution to the problem of climate change. Farmers do incredibly important work. They always have. But now they can be champions in the fight against climate change. How do they do that, you ask? Two words, regenerative agriculture. Let me set the table here. We're in a climate crisis. Like many of you, I'm anxious about how little we're doing to reduce greenhouse gas emissions on a global scale. Industrial agriculture is a big part of our greenhouse gas emissions. Our cramped feedlots emit methane, tilling soil, running huge diesel tractors, spraying the fields with fertilizers and pesticides. All of this sends huge amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. We talk about the need to reduce our emissions and to plant trees to absorb excess carbon. Regenerative agriculture does both. Changing our farming practices will emit less greenhouse gases while also increasing our farm's ability to draw carbon back into our soils. You see, plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Remember photosynthesis? They absorb carbon through their leaves and push it into the ground through their roots. This simple process stores the carbon in the ground long term. So it all comes down to this. Living soils. There are more microorganisms in one teaspoon of healthy soil than there are human beings on Earth. But industrial agriculture is dependent on synthetic chemicals and tilling, which destroys this rich microbial life. It turns soil into dirt. In the living soil, plants get nutrients from the microorganisms living around their roots. But they also give to microorganisms. How? Well, plants turn carbon in the air into carbohydrates. But they can't live on sugars alone, so they send some of those carbs down to the microorganisms in the soil, which in turn give back essential nutrients that plants need to grow naturally, which means more nutritious food for us. All this microbial life secretes a glue-like substance, which creates clumps and a porous soil. This very structure of a living soil is better able to absorb and retain water. So, soils with better water retention and rich in nutrients are able to create more life above ground, which in turn creates more life in the soil. A beautiful cycle that encourages more life all around. And that's why we say that the living soil is regenerative. Cover your soil and move away from tilling. The goal here is not to turn the living soil's ecosystem upside down by messing with it. Maintaining a natural protective top layer is what allows the cool and humid habitat underneath to thrive. Synthetic fertilizers and pesticides damage the ecosystem, whereas organic inputs like compost, compost tea, and manure makes it richer and stronger. Everything is connected in nature. There are no isolated monocultures. By planting a diversity of crops and integrating trees and animals with the crops, the living soil gets healthier, more resilient, and more productive. To help fight climate change, we're often told to eat less meat. Fair enough. But if you do choose to eat animal products as I do, make sure you choose regenerative. Grasslands need animal activity to absorb carbon and regenerate. Holistic plant grazing is all about rotating herds of cows, sheep, bison, you name it, through parcels of pasture so that the grasses and roots have time to grow back. The grazing, the pooping, 
and the deeper root systems all help to keep the soil alive and the carbon in the ground. Perennials are plants that grow back every year on their own. They typically grow for longer than other plants each season, and over time, they get deep roots. This helps to absorb and store more carbon in the soil. Regenerative agriculture improves our soils by making them stronger and healthier. That's not just good for the carbon cycle and climate change. Living soils make farms more resilient to extreme weather by absorbing more water. They reduce the need for chemicals and thereby spare us the high carbon cost of making those chemicals. And on top of it all, it saves farmers money. We can't live without our farmers. They're the stewards of the land. And with regenerative agriculture, they can become climate champions. So care about what you eat. A major climate solution is right under your feet. Don't keep it a secret. Share this video and help the champions. We'll do this together.